Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review on the team of the season, Emiliano Buendia. We're going to go through the card as he still has clips and summary before we get into all of that. If I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below what your thoughts were on this card. Sorry, this is a bit, a little bit late guys, just before BPL talks, but we did get there in the end. And now, let's get into the video. So guys, this is the team that I used Emiliano Buendia in. I played him in that right mid spot in a 4-2-3-1. I also tried him in the cam spot and I tried him in the striker spot. And overall, guys, my first impressions of this card, I love this card and how well he played for me. He really is a fantastic card. Uh, really good value as well, considering what he is and where he can link to. But his league does hold him back slightly. Let's just get into the review. Emiliano, Emiliano Buendia, 5-8, high, high work. It's right footy, 4 star homies, 4 star week. 11 games played, 8 goals scored and 5 assists. Now, guys, the first thing I want to get into is the high, high work rates. I didn't actually feel like he's a him too much about like his positioning was pretty good um in the games that i was using him in i didn't feel like he was out of position a lot or pulled out by those high high work rates the four stars only four star weak foot is lovely to have now the 11 games played eight goals scored and five assists this is has to be taken with a pinch of salt guys because when i was using this card a lot of people were leaving games quite early because i was scoring quite early as well not necessarily with this card but with other cards as well so the games are a bit inflated it's actually probably around seven games eight goals and five assists so a very decent return for this card in terms of chemistry style I put the Maestro on him. I thought that was the best fit for him, uh, which will lead us straight into the attribute details, guys. The key pros of the card. Acceleration and sprint speed, both brilliant. The dribbling is all fantastic, other than one slight uh, thing you need to fix in there. The passing range is good. Uh, the strength, aggression, uh, and and that side of things as well is good. As And then, just to top it off, guys, if you do want him to be a better defender, his defending isn't half bad either. He could play as a wing back if you do want him to. Which kind of leads me into the cons of the card, guys. Of course... Long shots is a big one. I feel like he did struggle a little bit on the long shots. The reactions are a big one as well, guys, but you, you can fix that again with the Maestro and boost certain elements of the card that need boosting as well, like his free kick accuracy, like his passing. Those elements can be helped out as well. So I think that with that chemistry style, you can help him out. Certainly in attacking sense, if you were to play him as a wing back, guys, I would go with another way, but we'll look at that in the final summary. In terms of the player traits, he's of course got the flare trait, the playmaker, and the technical dribbler. All great traits to have uh, in a right-sided attacking player. And now that we've covered that, let's get into some of the clips that I got with him. So guys, getting into some of Emiliano Buendia's clips. And what you guys are going to see is the general ability he has to play in that attacking midfield spot, in that right mid spot, and in general how attacking a threat he was for me. Now guys, there you can use this card as a wing back as well. Uh, he certainly does have the, uh, the ability with the right chemistry to be able to do that. I preferred him further forward. I think his stats were wasted at the wing back slot. Uh, and if you have this player playing further forward, in my opinion, he does a lot better. Now guys, he was absolutely brilliant for me in the games that I used him. He was a constant threat a real thorn in the opponent's side as well and it didn't matter who he was coming up against whether it was that prime Mateus or whether it was someone like Roberto Carlos he was able to hold his own and really do a job for me in that right mid spot or the camp spot or even the striker spot as well the first thing I want to get into guys his pace now his pace is good uh, it does feel quite high it doesn't feel as high as someone who maybe would be a little more agile because of their body type so that's something to bear in mind guys that the body type on this car does make a bit of difference he's a little bit more of a stockier build than your slim agile players uh, kind of plays into his strength and aggression levels but uh, what you do get an offset is that his just general speediness on the ball does feel a little bit compromised. In terms of the next that we're going to get into, guys, is passing. His passing range is phenomenal, uh, really good. Uh, played some lovely over-the-top balls, and you can see one right there, uh, which is just easy for him to be able to play uh, and get the attacks going as well and create opportunities. And, guys, over and over again, I would rely on his passing to be able to just deliver things like that. His crossing as well, very decent as well, if you guys have seen from a couple of these clips as well. Getting into the dribbling, guys, his dribbling is fantastic as well. Aside from one factor, which is the reactions. His reactions are low. You will need to boost this a little bit to really get the best out of this card in an attacking sense. I do feel like if you do boost that, though, this card really doesn't have any weaknesses in terms of his dribbling. You guys are seeing over and over again how well he is doing just in terms of creating opportunities from tight gaps and spaces and moving in between the lines to get opportunities going. The next thing I want to get into, guys... His physicality. Now, his physicality was a pleasant surprise. Uh, given his body type as well, I felt like he moved really well. I uh, was able to hold off defenders fairly strong as well. So overall, a physicality, a pleasant surprise. Not something I was expecting to get with the Buendia card. I have used his rewards objectives card as well. So I wasn't expecting a lot from this card, but it really did deliver in terms of that as well, which was lovely to have. 
the final thing i want to get into guys is his shooting now guys his finishing is pretty decent his finesse shots are ridiculous guys for some reason even though he doesn't have the finesse shot trait both on his left and right foot his finesse shots are fantastic and what that allows you to do it really does allow you to trouble your opponent because they believe he's right footed or they may be fooled and thinking he's left footed if you keep focusing on it and then all of a sudden you have a player who really can be two footed and dangerous either way it just makes things a lot easier for you in terms of creating and finishing opportunities the defending stats we'll touch on briefly guys uh, i feel like his defending and even his work rates kind of play towards him being a good wing back now i didn't personally try him there but it's something i would recommend you guys try out if you are thinking of buying this card for that slot i personally didn't try it so i can't comment on it but he, i think he would be good there as well and in this final clip guys you're just going to see the final goal that he scored for me getting in on the defense here and a lovely chip over the keeper from distance so guys, getting to this final Emiliano Buendia summary. Of course, he's extinct on all consoles right now, guys. I will be putting my one up before the Premier League team of the season comes out. So go and grab him if you do see this video. Uh, he will be up on the market. In terms of the pros of this card, guys, acceleration and sprint speed, fantastic. Shooting is pretty good uh, all across the board, except for the long shots. The passing is pretty decent as well, except for the free kick accuracy. And the dribbling is pretty good, except for the reactions. Now, guys, he's decent at defending as well, and he's decent at physicality as well. The one thing I will say, guys, there's two ways you can play this card. If you're going to play him as a wing back, then I would not recommend you go ahead and put what I put on him. So let's first look at the attacker. If you're going to play him as an attacker, I recommend the Maestro, guys. It's just the way that helps out his stats the most, puts him into dark greens in almost every stat category across the four major ones that you need as an attacker. If we look at defensive side of things, uh, I think a Sentinel is, is a good shout for him as well, just in terms of his capability defensively, boosting that and then giving him a little more physicality, and that allows him to be a good wingback. The one thing I would say, guys, that is against him as a wingback is you have to bear in mind his stamina and work rates. He's only 82 stamina and high, high work rates, and you will really get killed at that wingback slot if you do choose to use him. So you've got to be very careful with how you use this player. You don't want him charging up and down too much. He will be dead by the end of the game. So I think he's better off suited as an inside forward as a right winger as a right mid or as a cam uh, i would not be looking at him as a wing back or a right back sort of option in terms of similar players guys um atal is a good shot i do think atal is a different level just in terms of speed and movement i think this buendia card is a good option not quite at a level but a similar sort of mold in that way very technical very capable player certainly better at some elements as well than atal like the passing um but in terms of the overall uh, play style quite similar in that regard in terms of linkability guys you've got no perfect links but you've got strong links of course to argentinian icons as well as other team of the season players like team Puki, like max Aarons, and like tim cruel so there's lots of linkability options especially recently with a lot of these cards coming out in terms of price comparison guys now i put right wing backs right mids right uh, forwards bunch of cards in there uh, just to kind of compare where he sits amongst all those and if we go down the list here guys you, as you guys will see you know he's extinct he would currently sit in amongst uh philip lamb and javier zanetti just above reese james and just below ryan kent if you ask me how does he compare to this ryan kent aside from the five star five star I think that, of course, this card is better. Better than this Rafinha, for sure. I think he's definitely trending up towards those that better level of player. And you are getting a really good level player for that card as well. So I do feel like he is a fantastic card in that regard. Which leads me into my final recommendation, guys. Which is, if you can get your hands on this card at a cheaper price, which eventually it will drop, guys. So please do not try and buy one at 400k. I know I said my one will be up on the market. If you do want to get that to try them out, then go for it. But do not go out and buy this card this price will drop hard in the coming weeks especially with all these teams that are going to come out especially with all these players that are going to come out when the price range updates people have been holding this card will lose a lot of coins so please guys just wait until the the price range gets updated and the card drops off you'll be able to buy him at a much cheaper price but when you can buy him and if you can link him into your team say with a messi or the aguero card or with an argentinian icon do it guys he will not disappoint you in any regard he'll be a fantastic value card as well because of his league uh, but his nationality does save him for linkability options really is a phenomenal option so i do recommend you guys go and get him again when the price drops hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did please do smash that like button until next time i'll see you all in a bit